Okay, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into breaking news. President-elect Donald Trump has made an unconditional choice for his new Secretary of Defense, naming Pat Hegth a well-known for news host and veteran. Let's explore what this surprising appointment means for the Pentagon U.S. military strategy and the future of America's defense. So who is Petty Hegth? Many know him as the co-host of Fox and Friends, but Peter Hegel's background extends far beyond television. Hegel is a veteran of the Iraq and Afghanistan wars and has been a vocal supporter of Donald Trump since his first term. His involvement with the military includes advocacy for veterans and his stance uh, on American military interventions. Mr. Hegthi's military services has shaped his views on foreign policy <clears throat> and he's been particularly supportive of Trump's America First Agenda including efforts to reduce U.S. military presence overseas and prioritize domestic military issues. Trump's selection of Hegthi marks a departure from traditional picks for Secretary of Defense. Normally the role has been filled um, by career military leaders or experienced Pentagon administrators. However, Trump has always been known for choosing allies and political outsiders for key positions. According to sources close to the administration, Hegarth's unawaring support for Trump's policies and his direct connections with military veterans made him appealing choice. In a statement, in a statement Trump said Hegarth is tough, smart, and a true believer in America first and that with Petty and the helm America's enemies are on notes. This suggests that Hegarth's approach will likely be as strong and outspoken as his media presence. With Hegarth's appointment, many expect shifts in U.S. military policy as a, a vocal advocate of the America first stance. Hegarth's could push for a reduction in U.S. overseas involvement and a focus on domestic military strength. This means further troop withdrawals, uh, particularly from regions like the Middle East, and an emphasis on supporting veteran issues here at home. One area that will be closely watched in his stance on military justice, Hegarth, has been known to defend veterans accused of war crimes and it is expected he'll continue advocating for reform in military legal practices. Experts and analysts are divided on Hegarth's appointment. Supporters argue that his first-hand military experience and strong stance on America on American nationalism could bring a fresh pers perspective to the Pentagon. Others, however, are concerned about his lack of Pentagon management experience, especially in, law, in a role overseeing over a million active duty troops. Defense experts also point out that while Higgeth has combat experience, <coughs> excuse me, Managing the world's largest defense organization demands an entirely different uh, skill set, one re requiring deep knowledge of military operations, budgeting, and international diplomacy. Hegarth's appointment signals Trump's commitment to a more assertive America first defensive policy for America's allies and adversaries. This might mean a shift towards a less interventionist approach abroad. However, the extent of these changes remain to be seen as Hegeth assumes his role. It's also worth noting that Hegeth will need to navigate complex relationships with allies and ensure that America's global interests aren't compromised and uh, as the administration seeks to focus onward. So what do you think about Petty Hegeth's uh, appointment as defense secretary? Will he bring the change Trump promises or is this a risky move for America's defense strategy? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth analysis of the latest political developments in america